says we get it. Okay. Okay. Well, Eric, San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick mm -hmm. is sticking by the sideline move that has brought him a lot of backlash. His decision to sit during the national anthem at a preseason game Friday night. Kaepernick says he wanted to take a stand for civil rights and draw attention to racial issues in America. Will Carr is live in our West Coast Bureau with more. Hi, Will. Hey there, Pat, and reaction coming quickly. Some fans even burning Kaepernick jerseys after he refused to stand during that game on Friday night, a preseason game against the Green Bay Packers. He says this is bigger than football, and he's willing to accept the consequences. There's also been reaction on Twitter. Uh, New York Giants offensive lineman Justin Pugh tweeting, I will be standing during the national anthem. Thank you to all, gender, race, religion, that put your lives on the line for that flag. Dallas Mavericks owner Mark Cuban tweeting, I may not understand his perspective or agree with him, but Colin Kaepernick taught us we can still disagree in this country peacefully. And Dr. Ben Carson weighing in on the issue this morning on Fox and Friends. To disrespect our national anthem and our flag after so many people have sacrificed so that he could have the freedoms that he has today, so that he could make, you know, a very, very good living in this quote, racist, unquote, land. Other NFL players in recent years have exercised their First Amendment rights and avoided discipline. In 2014, you may remember five Rams walked out onto the field with their hands up. Part of the hands up, don't shoot gestures that we saw in Ferguson, none were fined or punished. But at the same time, the league has a very strict uniform policy. The NFL denying the Cowboys uh, a couple months ago the ability to wear the decal to honor five police officers who were shot and killed, uh, which obviously made a lot of news uh, recently. The most similar comparison that we could find was back in 1996. Mahmoud Abdul Raouf, who was uh, an NBA player, he was suspended for one game for refusing to stand up during the national anthem as part of uh, his religion. The NBA and uh, the player came to an agreement and while at this point it doesn't appear Kaepernick will face discipline from the NFL, so far that's what they said. They said it's not a requirement to stand. Experts we've spoken with, Patty Ann, say what you may likely see is the NFL to change the requirements for players uh, to stand during the anthem. Mm. Patty Ann. All right, we'll see. Will Carr, live in L.A. Thank you. Well, you know, there's a big scare in the sky, Patty Ann. Imagine flying.